Well, is the fourth edition of the International Women's Invitational organized by the Nigerian Cricket Federation. We are here match day number five and match nine between Rwanda and Sierra Leone. And at the toss, I have the captain of Rwanda, Dian, and the captain of Sierra Leone, Parkinson herself. And we're going to be doing the toss with Tony Terminali, who is the tournament referee, and of course the third umpire, Mudukbe Ashafa, with us. Ed is the call. Ed Abitz. Congratulations, Captain. You won the toss. What would you be doing? I'm going to bat. I said from the toss, it is Sierra Leone that have won the toss and they elected to bat. Uh, AB is always a good thing to see these young stars come through, and I'm happy to see it happening again today. Rwanda seems to always name. I'm just going to be putting his profile together, and I'm going to be talking about him a lot today. His name is Shemwa Jidagba. He loves the mic, yeah. And that finger. And she just got another. Is that a Nick? Is that a Nick? Umpire Olumide Akitoku not moved by it. You can see the wicket keeper still appealing. Played on the ground. Lovely piece of field in there, but the field are preventing that. From Look forward to the big one against the home side Nigeria tomorrow. In the air, is that Tekken? Um, Nigeria and Rwanda will be leaving for that tournament on the 5th of March. Big swing, uh, Nick there, yeah. Get plenty of experience she's got here. Slower delivery this time. It's huge for me. Thank you very much, Andreas of M, for that lovely words. And of course, gone Federation, or be as it were. The association president to actually take charge. Oh my word! She has to go back and meet the teammates. Team in Ghana for the men's team. It is the seven. It is seven teams. Way going round the pitch, jogging. The other days where she she she's not part of the squad, but great to see her. And she's. That was full enough, and she went for it. One day, one day. To see if they can get this done and dusted as soon as they can. That will go for four. In your leg, you talk about uh, Lassit Malinga, retired. Skies it up. We can keep our goals for it. And get get for Gazelle in this tournament. She was trusted with the ball. Probably Diane is thinking, How can we end this soon? And she says, This Gazelle, hey, the best batter, no player from Syria alone got into double digits. And that's credit to the bowling of uh, this Rwandan side Zainab Aminata Kamara, 18 balls face, scored nine runs. Janet Kowa, face 21. It's going to be Marie Tureto coming from there. Could have appealed and uh, flicked away powerfully. No chance whatsoever for the fielder. Abayomi. Clarissa. First time she's been promoted up. Catches the call and she has to take the captain. Did very superbly in the first inning, restricting uh, Tim Salalion to 43. A little shimmy there from Merve Wase, picking up yet another gap, uh, keeping that. Oh, went in between the legs. That should race all the way to the boundary for four. Number 22 coming in from the court of appeal end. A catch. Would that be taken? Lovely catch. Clarissa. First time she's been promoted up. Catches the call and she has to take people. A lot of people, as I said, that they would have expected Tim Randa to chase this without her. Any sweat as we see Giselle cutting that one powerfully 31 for two after 4.3. A little tad too short this time round. Uh, no chance whatsoever for any fielder in this wall uh, that was struck powerfully from the blade over. In and length is uh, Zainab. Tattoo short pulled away powerfully from uh, 
the blade of uh, Ariete Ishimwe who takes no sighters telling a partner goes bigger there's a field that gives it a chaser but the chase will be in vain as uh, Ariete Ishimwe gets before Giselle Ishimwe came into the attack and uh, wrapped up the whole innings Nyera Kundineza was very impressive with the ball having brought back into the side picking up three weeks